I want to thank all of you participants in the uh, set line fish trap challenge. That's quite the contraption yeah. you came up with, though, Greg. We're getting this challenge done. Woo! We got the whole dog, got the trap set. Come on, fishies. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We actually did it. We did it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. There we go. Oh. The first two people that are willing to video themselves making this trap, catching a fish with it, Submit the video to me so you can be on a future video and I'll send you a custom made ferro rod that I make myself. So I'm at the cabin here. I'm going through my antlers. I've got a big box of antlers that I've got. Uh, trying to find nice pieces for the handles of the ferro rod. I've got the ferro rods. I've got a vise here to hold it while I try to thread it. And I uh, go through here and try to find a couple of nice ones. Some are bleached out. I don't really want that. I want to find something that still has the color to it. Uh, the white ones don't look as nice. I've got a lot of different antlers. Of course this one's hooked like crazy. White tail. Uh, there's mule deer, white tail, this is elk, that's too big. But anyways, figure out these handles and uh, get these ferro rods made for whoever the winners were. This one looks alright. It's nice and brown. It's got this piece on it, but that's fine too. We can leave that on or maybe just cut that off. About there. Takes a while with a hacksaw. It's working, but it's going to take time. Should have had a different saw, I think. Not the best place to try to cut it either. I have to put it in the vise. It was just moving around too much here. Slow with a hacksaw. I think I'm going to leave this on. Um, that little spike because you can you can use it like this, and it'll support. Uh, if somebody finds they don't like it, they can just cut that off. But I mean, I think it looks kind of cool the way it is. It's working. I don't know if you can see, but now we have threads. May not be able to see them, but they're there. Thread this. So I got them both threaded. Uh, I might even add some JB Weld in there so that it doesn't unthread itself if somebody's out in the field. Let's see. Now, just tighten it up. But I think I will JB Weld it. But that's a pretty cool looking ferro rod. That is. And like I say, I don't mind this tying because you can hold it like this. You can still strike it just fine. That's cool. I like it. I promised I'd make them with my own hands and that's what I'm going to do. 
and I'm still going to uh, have engraved the channel name Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft and whoever the winner are will get their name engraved on the other side as well so right on thanks for participating in the challenge it was awesome and I appreciate all your submissions even of those of you that uh, may not have won uh, thanks for participating anyways and we're going to try to have future contests like this or challenges whether it's just getting out uh, getting some video of uh, even a fishing or a camping trip um, not necessarily a challenge per se but thanks for uh, participating all of you I want to thank all my subscribers thanks for watching so I want to thank all of you participants in the uh, set line fish trap challenge we had some awesome uh, submissions there uh, even though I said I was going to send two feral rods I'm going to send four two young people Luke and then also Rowan just because of your efforts in the challenge Happy New Year, Greg Evans and Finley. My name's Rowan, and we live on a farm in northern Alberta. I hope you enjoy this video. Got the hole dug and we're getting the line rigged up. There's bottom. Okay. So we got the trap set. There's the trigger. Okay, well this is Sunday, January 2nd. Holding some hot chocolate that won't stay hot very long. I'm the dad. Got my wannabe Fowler Toucan. Here's Rowan hunkered down looking at her line in the water. There's Sadie, they're drinking some hot chocolate. Say hi Rowan. Hi. We have not been successful in catching a fish, but we have tried. But it is now time to go home and it is minus 30 with a wind, so we're gonna get go get warmed up so we didn't catch a fish but that's okay I also wanted to say that if you ever wanted to come out and see our place and do a video or something that would be awesome thanks so much for watching this video Greg Ovens bye thanks for watching I forgot to mention that we like watching your videos on your YouTube channel uh, excellent job Rowan uh, appreciate your efforts and thanks for submitting the video and again, I know you didn't catch a fish with it, but keep trying the trap. You will catch something with it. It does work. And uh, I'll be sending you a feral rod as well. Now I got a notch for my paracord. Here's what I've got so far. Tripod built with the support here. And I got it zip tied over there. It's really starting to sturdy up. So I think this is gonna be really good. So there's my trigger. There's the part that goes in the rope. And here is the beam that's gonna stop it from setting too much. So now I have the trigger, the fish came and nibbled, so let's set the hook. No Oliver, none for you.
that's pretty um, easily set off, I think. So if anything tugs on that at all, then um, it's gonna set the hook. All right, just gonna go check on it and see if anything's on there. And uh, looks like it's still set. Today I bought some worms and I tied up a new rig and I'm trying a different spot. So hopefully I'll have some luck here. So it's the 10th and I have yet to catch a fish on my, on my set line here. But I had a lot of fun making it and I'm definitely not done trying. So um, hopefully in a few days I'll catch one. But thanks so much for uh, doing the videos you do and inspiring me to uh, do stuff like this as well. And I can't wait to see your next 30 day challenge. Uh, thanks for your effort on the trap. Um, I'm sorry you didn't catch anything with it, but I'm going to send you a feral rod anyway. Next was Jerry. Uh, Jerry lives in Golden near, not too far from the flats where I am. Hello Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft viewers. Hi Greg. Hi Mr. Fowler. I've been watching Greg since the beginning and I thought this, this was a pretty cool device. Like if you're out in the bush and you have to get firewood and take care of yourself in a survival situation, having something that will set the hook on its own is a pretty cool idea. So I'm gonna go out and try it today, I hope. Uh, I don't have an ice auger, I only have an ax with me, so I hope the ice isn't too thick on the lake. But yeah, we'll see you guys out at the lake. All right guys, well this road is way deeper of snow than it was close to town. I'm like, I could get stuck out here. This might turn into one of those situations where I actually stay out here and fish for my food. And I have got terrible access to sticks. I'm gonna grab a few different items. I'm not any Greg Ovens, so see what we can do. Just a couple more. This guy here, maybe. That would be a good cross piece. It's cold, really cold. There's some materials. These will be the triangle. One, two, woo -hoo, three. Did I mention it before? I don't remember. But I'm a paraglider pilot. This is really strong stuff. That is paraglider lines from an old paraglider. Super strong. Kevlar with Dyneema. I don't know, I feel like that's gonna maybe work. Down and around. That in there. Be kind of nice, I wish I had Finn and Greg out here for company today. Okay. So we're going to put that there. It's quiet. Hmm. Easier said than done, okay. Uh, 
This is a ramshackle looking event right here, boys. This might be a fail video, Greg. Yada yada and whee! Trigger stick sets the hook. Okay, so it wouldn't be an ovens Rocky Mountain bushcraft video. I'm right up to my waist if I didn't show the bloopers. I fell in a hole. Okay, let's try to get out here. So, I ran into a problem. I had an ice auger I was gonna bring, but it's electric to friends, and the electrics aren't working. So, I decided maybe I could chop a hole. Well, four inches of ice on top of water and like as far down as I can go without getting completely soaked. What would you do if you were hungry? I know I have a hole, I just need it to be bigger. Oh yeah, there we go. That's big enough to get a fish out of boys. Woo, we're in business. Thank goodness I'm a YouTuber already. Half the struggle is filming this stuff. So I do have a big enough hole to get the fish through. Ah, I set it off. <laughs> There are lots of fish in this lake, so come on, fishies. That's quite the contraption you came up with, though, Greg. I want to see it work now so bad. Well, if the fish ain't biting, honey, take a look. What kind of bait you got on the hook? Go, fishy. Man, if I had an ice auger, I'd have like three holes going. I gave it an honest effort. You have to give me that. I'll try again next weekend. It's a beautiful day. It's cold though, my hands are froze already. Well, let's get out there, shall we? Still no fish. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh Lord. Oh well. Nice warm smoky. I got some chai tea in my thermos. Let's see if this chai is still warm. It should be. It's warm. Well, you can't tell me that smoky's not gonna be good. I just had one hit it guys, but he didn't quite get on. Oh, there's a fish after it. Ah, uh, it's just tiny, I think. My trap is set off. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Guys. We did it. And right when I'm about to go home. Look at this guy. On Greg's trap, man. I was up at the truck loading my, loading my stuff in the truck. Let's get this guy back in the water. Oh, come on, easy, easy. Look at him. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Okay, guy. Let's get you back in. Oh, go down. Go down. Oh, there he goes. You guys saw the trap go off. I didn't even see it work. The uh, earlier fish I saw in there that were biting were small. That was a nice fish. That was a keeper, eh, Greg? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> 
I thought I was done for the day. I was like nothing was biting. I had a couple little guys nibbling. And the good thing about this trap is, is if they're really tiny, it won't set the trap off. <laughs> but yeah, that guy, he was like, that was a nice little fish. <laughs> Roger that. Y'all take care and have a great new year. Bye now. Awesome job, Jerry. So we'll be sending you a feral rod as well. Uh, he caught a nice brook trout with the trap on his second attempt out. Well, this is my new buddy, Jerry, here. And he was the second person, actually, to catch a fish with it. So he's going to get one of my feral rods. I'm going to have it engraved first, so you're going to have to wait a week or two. But we're going to get yeah. a feral rod to Jerry. He doesn't live far from me, so I drove up here to meet him today. And I brought Joe, the camera guy. Yeah. You remember Joe from the island. <laughs> so he's running the camera today. But anyways, we'll yeah, get that we to you as soon as possible. Right on, Greg. That was a lot of fun, actually, doing that right fishing trip with that rig. And, and incidentally, since then, I've had a few people actually stop and ask me, about this is? fishing rig yeah so i've been explaining it kind of all over golden to different people about Perfect. what yeah. this fishing thing is so yeah they're pretty interested it is yeah all it's right cool. well i appreciate right on, it man. so we'll get that to you right away <laughs> Perfect. thanks for watching next was cody and he's got a youtube channel saskatchewan fisher so check his channel out he uh made the trap he was the first person to catch a fish with it uh, I believe it was a perch that he caught with that. So this right here is the Greg Ovens Bushcraft Fish Trap Challenge. We're set up, we got the camera going, but we can't stay out there. Because it's way too cold, so we're just chilling in here. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't do much bushcraft, but that's why I want to try this. I think it's going to be awesome. And he says you can do this in 15 minutes. I, it took me 20 minutes to cut the sticks down. Don't, we don't want to get into how that went. Bushcrafting, baby! Let's go! Uh, oh, who else does that? God, smells good. Mumbo number three. Ew. Come on, let's go. We need a bigger slap in tonight. Ugh, we screwed up. We gotta bring the notches down. 15 minutes? Really? Oh. We're gonna be like 15 hours. I think I'm making a mess. <laughs> More than anything. <laughs> this isn't even. I thought I measured that. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I'm not cutting this. We'll go right here. I'm not cutting that too freaking short. Can't ex we don't got the wood extension right here today. Oh no, which one was it? So, I seen he pointed this one off and kind of put a hole in this one to put the first one in. I seen. That's too long though. Who measured this? Or no, we're gonna make a V, I think. I don't know what, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> ah, not even copycat. Feels like I'm getting nowhere. Oh, where's our mark at? <laughs> I don't know which one it was. There's a mark here. Oh, I like a glob. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> we're actually looking like we're following some kind of diagram. <laughs> that was close. Nobody judge me on my boy Scott. Boy Scout. Not. I know the will not. Will not come loose. <laughs> oh man. Why didn't I do this before? Why didn't I tie this at the start? Oh, it would have been so much easier. It won't come undone, I don't think. There we go. They ain't coming off now. We're gonna tie everything together. We're gonna tie strings upon strings. Yeah. It's actually kind of solid now. This is definitely one of the coolest things I've done though. To catch fish on this is gonna be fantastic. This, look at this. It's actually staying together. <gasps> look at the cord. <laughs> so that's gotta go there. Is this making sense? Does it look the same as Greg's? Oh yeah! Stab myself. Oh my gosh, is it actually gonna work? So I'm a little fish and playing with a lot. Oh. oh my god, it might work. 
This is so cool. Mission accomplished, boys and girls. I don't think it's gonna fall apart. Probably because it's weighed down by 300 pounds of paracord, but it doesn't matter. This is so cool. Like, I am so excited to try this. So we pretty well got it. And then we're gonna put the lion on the inside of this. And when the fish goes like this, fish on, baby. We just got here and it is so windy and cold. It's like minus 35 with the wind right now. And for now, I think the best bet, I'm just gonna leave the camera sticking out the window of the truck because it's gonna freeze up. It's not gonna last. I got a dike under the truck of snow. It's gonna hopefully stop the holes from freezing over every five minutes. We're getting this challenge done. Woo! This is cheating, but we're gonna find depth with the flasher. It's way quicker, and I ain't standing outside in the cold to do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> Look at this! I'm stoked! It's gonna be sick. <laughs> I forgot I drilled two holes. Good thing I didn't sink my leg. Jeez. I'm just gonna set it up. It's got a nice mealworm on the yellow hook. I've had good luck with these out here. We got some 20 pound spider foot wire. Lots for these perch in here. My hands are so cold. I think that's it. We're gonna sit and wait now. Holy that's cold. You see the freaking ice build up? <laughs> that's crazy. challenge we did it this one deserves to get eaten they're so good and we worked for this i'm so cold and we actually did it oh my god yeah. Woo! Woo! thanks cody for um replicating the trap and actually catching something with it my name's walter i'm uh taking on uh, greg oven's uh fish trap challenge you might recognize me as the city guy that greg likes to make fun of in his videos we hang out once in a while and it's pretty fun. So taking on this fish trap challenge, the easiest thing for me to do was to steal it out of the back of his truck. And I'm gonna measure this up, I'm gonna reverse engineer it, um, and we're probably gonna go out and catch a fish with it. I'm actually in the, the town that uh, Greg stops into once in a while. It's called Canal Flats. We jokingly call it Jellystone. Every day it's the same old thing. Look at the bears, look at the bears, look at the bears. Because it's January, um, I usually see Greg November, December, January. We kind of joke around a little bit. So what I'm going to start this video off with is a huge, huge shout out to uh, Greg Evans and, and Zach. You know, as you know, Greg took a shot at uh, Alone. Um, came in fifth place and it was actually in a January a couple of years ago when uh, Greg and Zach decided to hook up together so to commemorate that sometime when they got uh, a half a million subscribers um, Greg and Zach and Zach reached out to Greg it was like a Rocky movie Apollo Creed and Rocky so uh, so uh, we made up this little poster in our little town so that's the shout out to uh, Greg and Zach um, couple of guys that do bushcraft things and and they're doing a lot of inspiration for the world. So paracord's not one of the things I usually have with me. So in a survival situation, um, one of the things that I found out um, when I was younger out in Turner Valley, Black Diamond area, um, you know, I had friends that snared rabbits when, when uh, rabbit fur was a popular item. Um, fur of course isn't cool anymore but uh, you can take apart your guitar 
and uh, it makes an actual perfect rabbit snare. So if you're gonna, that would be my first priority with the items that I have with me. In my case, being a more of a camera guy, um, these would be typical items here. So the principle of Greg's trap here is that it is a tripod and it's reinforced at the bottom. Now, I would be relying on the centerpiece here, limit equipment, and say it was really cold outside, I'd have some carpenter pencils, um, some chalk line. So I'd be building my, my survival trap to catch a fish. Say I was wounded or uh, um, I would be building it out of this material here. So in lieu of paracord, I've got uh, shoelace here. Um, I've also got some, uh, some, some masks. I mean, these things are all over the highway. Um, these are actually fairly stringy as well. Like they're, they're, they're pretty tough. So what I've got to do is replicate this. So that it goes. Greg's a drywaller. So, you know, he'd probably, you could use this as a, as a fishing, uh, reel in your drywall. You're going to have an alpha knife and you're probably going to have a shoelace. So what's different with the tripod trap here is that if I stick it here, it might be a little harder. So I'm sure with Greg's hook, you got to adjust it. So what I might do is set it here like this, and then that would set the hook. Okay. So that's the general principle. This is uh, Greg's fine craftsmanship. Greg always carries, uh, he probably carries one of Zach Fowler's uh, really amazing uh, wallet um, survival kits that's got fish hooks in it. So you'd actually need that. So uh, now what I'd have to do is maybe uh, get Greg to go take this out and or go out with Greg and he would give it a pass or fail. Um, we'll see what Greg's evaluation of this fish trap is. And uh, he'll probably tell you that he taught me everything I know, which wouldn't be far from the truth. But you were the chosen one. <laughs> Well, I'm not having any luck so far. Um, it's a patience game. The ice is pretty thick and uh, again we've had some cold weather so I'm just going to change the depth a bit here. See if that makes a bit of a difference. Here. I'm pretty confident that it'll work. tangled up. Well, I've dealt with tangles before. We have our tripod of sticks tied together. We've got our paracord in between. And our trigger is down to here. You set it on there. When the fish bites this line, oh, just a second. Wasn't on very good. Sets the hook. Cool. Now we got to try to get footage of the fish underwater biting it, trap going off, and have one. That's what we want. Yeah. my trap there. Did we get him? Not that time we got him. Look. So now we got one. Now we got one. There we go. Nice. So, the trap <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, he came off the hook, so it's good that you may as well keep this guy for dinner. 
Want me to smack you in the mouth? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's how you do it. All right. It worked, well. <laughs> and we got it filmed. The trap worked. Nice. Well, what do you think of that, eh? That's incredible. <laughs> So I am here with Jerry. I have not seen his fish trap. He brought it for me to see. And Jerry was actually the second person to catch a fish with it. So I promised him a ferro rod, but because he's so close to where I live, I wanted to give it to him personally. There's the ferro rod, all engraved. I hope you can read that. If not, regardless, there you go, Jerry. Thanks, hey, Greg. Thanks Man. for uh, participating in the yeah. challenge. And thanks for putting and the challenge on. That great. was, I yeah. had a great time building this thing. Cool. Um, cool. Sitting out in the snow and freezing my butt off for a day well, and going out yeah, next weekend. Yeah. But it works and uh, I appreciate you making it. Nice. And as promised, there's a ferro rod for you. That's I got beautiful. a couple more to give away, but uh, they did a good job. Very nice. Nice so, craftsmanship. Fits my hand Fits nice. Fits your hands nice. Yeah, big Jerry's paws. got big hands, so <laughs> yeah. I figured if I gave him one like this instead of with a tine on it, yeah, it would could. fit his hand better. So and that yeah, actually fits, fits good. perfect. Good. Perfect. Really nice. Awesome. Okay, well, if it fits that good, let's see Jerry start a fire with it. Uh, you guys want to see uh. that, don't you? <laughs> right on. Just getting some of this finer stuff here, Greg, see if we can make it work. Oh, you'll get her, Jerry. I think so. Too bad that stuff wouldn't fall into my hands, eh? Mm hmm. It's like powder almost. But... Yeah. There you go. You got flame already, Jerry. There we go, boys. For this ferro rod. Nice. Just like that. A little bit more of this in here. See, that didn't take much, Jerry. That was easy peasy, boys. <laughs> With Greg's custom ferro rod. Yeah. We're cool. not going to build a big fire. We're just no. going to show that we can get one going. But you got it. That was like... Watch your knees, Jerry. It might burn you. Jeez, we're getting <laughs> a camp going here. <laughs> right on. Greg's talked me, talk me into coming in here and staying the night, so we might do that maybe. Cool. Well, that'd make a good video. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate everybody's efforts and those that submitted videos. Thank you very much. We're going to have similar challenges to this in the future. So keep your eyes out for that and uh, make sure that you uh, submit your videos when we have these kind of challenges. But anyway, thanks everyone for your submissions and I'll be sending those ferro rods out shortly here. Thanks again. And thanks for watching, all you subscribers and members.